So they are literally potatoes in the air, uh, little balls of starch that you can use pretty much all the same way as regular potatoes. You can boil them, steam them, fry them, mash them, cook them in a stew. If you want to plant them, you can just place that on the ground and roots will form on the bottom and the vine will climb up and you don't need to do anything. You don't need to dig a hole. You just need to put it on the ground and it just grows. So I planted probably four or five air potatoes when I first got here. And by now, without really doing anything, just letting them grow, I'm getting easily 100 pounds a year with no effort. They come in a variety of sizes and shapes. And they're all kind of sculptural looking. Some are smaller, like some potatoes. And then some are outrageously big and have incredible shapes. They have a long storage life. So they start falling about now and then in their natural state, they'll just sit and wait until about February or March and we sprout. So that means that we can eat them for several months without doing any extra work. Even after they sprout, they don't seem to get bitter or have any problems. Like you can still eat them even after they have a pretty big sprout on them. Um, there is a wild variety that the Hawaiians brought over as a canoe crop. Um, they use it as famine food because it was quite bitter and unpalatable. The shape's very different as well. They're not so angular and sculptural. They have, um, they're more round, smoother skin. The other wonderful thing about these is that starting as early as July, they start to form and they'll be small, but you can find ones this size in like July or August. And by default, they'll grow up whatever trees they can find to get as high as they can. Anyway, the thing about these is they have a paper skin and you can't eat it. So you should peel it. You could peel it before you cook them or you could peel it after you cook them. It's really fun going back there and gardening, discovering, oh, here's some is that what all potatoes. Those are right in there? Yep, yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is a very small oh, example. Yeah, wow. there's some that are just, wow. they're huge, and somehow the vine hangs onto them. If you do decide to peel them before you cook them, uh, just be aware that they get really slippery. Um, when you start peeling them, the flesh of the air potato puts out uh, a kind of mucousy. Uh, mucilaginous, slippery substance that makes them slippery like soap. So that doesn't happen um, when you peel them post cooking. And then when they drop, if you miss them, they'll replant themselves. So they're self sowing. And the original one will regrow. It, it makes a perennial root wad down, down below that will re-sprout. So if you're gonna cook them with the peel on, um, it's good to cut it at least once or twice because it's nice to get a start on the peel from a fleshy side after it's cooked you'll see that you can kind of get a knife under there and peel it like paper back so i guess i'm going to make my pieces about that size some of these big guys i'm just going to have to cut into it so you can see when i peel this apart the mucilaginous inside and it's quite slick. But if you grow them in areas like this over here, that's mostly low stuff, they'll, they'll scramble up the katuk and the cassava and even along the ground if that's all they have. And so that means that they are making these at easily hand pickable level. You don't have to wait for them to fall off the vine. You're gonna cook them for 10 to 15 minutes at this size probably. Um, and you just you can just keep checking them with a fork. They need to be fork tender. You don't really want to overcook them though. They tend to sort of split apart. So it's nice to not overcook them. We might make a hash out of this, like a hash brown, um, kind of fry them in oil. So basically you can eat these things from July through April or May, like almost year round. It's really an amazing crop. And if you have kids, I think it makes a wonderful Easter egg hunt to send your kids out into the patch of sprawling air potatoes. <laughs>